Hey guys, welcome back. So I haven't made a video in about like two weeks or so and the reason why is because I haven't really had much of a, a feeling to make videos. I didn't really have the passion for it so I decided to kind of take a break. Um, but now with Plasma 5.16 releasing, I definitely decided I'm for sure going to make a video about this. And um, I am kind of late to the party but I decided to uh, wait till I get on my system so that I can uh, actually show what it looks and feels like on actual hardware instead of a virtual machine. So um, the first thing that I really like and that you can notice is at the top of the panel here, it says, it shows this like microphone icon and it says if you hover over it, as you can see, it says OBS is using the microphone. This is really neat. This is really cool. I mean, imagine if you're using an application um, or even if you somehow get hacked or whatever, right? Um, and this uh, icon pops up and you're wondering, wait a minute, I'm not using the microphone. What's using the microphone? And, and you can quickly check and you can also, if you want right click on it to mute it. So that's pretty nice. I think you can also left click. Okay, maybe you can't. Um, but that's the first thing that, that uh, they added and I really like that. So this is really nice, a really neat feature. Uh, and also, if you take a look at the uh, wallpaper as well, this is the new default wallpaper that ships with it. And I heard that the guy who designs the other wallpapers, he I think he took a break uh, as well. So, um, but I they did hold like a contest for this, and um, I think that this uh, wallpaper uh, definitely deserves the number one spot. And also, what comes along with it? Oh, actually. Uh, I decided to install the other wallpapers that were kind of like candidates. So there's this one. There were, there was probably some that I missed, but these ones were just my favorite ones. There's a light and dark version. There's uh, this one right here. And then this one. You know, this one I think really uh, fits the style of the other ones, like of the previous wallpapers, like just the design and the style. Um, I think the main part right here, uh, but the like blue background, uh, not so much. Oops. Let's go back to the one that one. I think this one as a whole, you know, it's really nice and in my opinion, it's really refreshing. And oh yeah, I forgot. Um, they also ship with this safe landing wallpaper. I think that this is really nice that they included like a bright and vibrant wallpaper because you can see the new blur effects. So they did say that they kind of changed the blur effects and I'm gonna open up the terminal and um, change up, like I'm gonna try to blur it to the maximum extent so you guys can get an idea. Now, when I do move it, uh, it it loses its like blur effect, but that's only because I have wobbly windows in, um, enabled. If you have that disabled, it, it won't really do that. Maybe I shouldn't make that full screen because it does kind of uh, get uneasy on the eyes, but, but yeah, just to give you an idea, and I certainly really like uh, what they decided to do with this. I think that it looks much better like this, it, and it really does look just kind of more natural or the way they tried to describe it. They also made some revision with the login screen, but I can't really show that uh, because I'm not sure if, uh, I'm not sure if OBS is still gonna record. Let's go back to the regular wallpaper. Um, also, um, now with notifications, that's actually something else. So if we open up the terminal and I'm just gonna like uh, message, there we go. So I'm just gonna try to enter a test notification. As you can see, this is what they look like. They've been kind of revamped. Um, I really like that. And it also depends on what uh, theme you decided to use as well. That also impacts the, uh, obviously the look of the notifications, but uh, also the network manager now connects uh, faster and it's more reliable in connecting after you say have suspended your computer and you're coming back in. Um, and then for, in terms of the settings, there's also notification settings right here. And you can take a look, there's, um, you can now actually put like a do not disturb mode or whatever 
uh, which is really nice. And another thing that I just realized I could do, I forgot I could do this, is you can change the position in which the notifications appear. So now I can kind of have it appear here. I was thinking about whether it should be at the top or the bottom, considering my panel is at the top, but I just realized this is going to get in the way of the dock. So, um, but yeah, you have plenty of options here. This is actually really neat. And you have so many nice settings here. Um, and you can even configure the individual applications to, um, you know, have specific settings. Um, but in terms of like the settings manager, things are certainly redesigned. As you can see, this looks different. I think this looks nice, but there's just way too much like blank space right here. Uh, that's the one thing about KD is that um, it, it can look really good. It's just that there's a lot of blank and unnecessary space in their applications. And especially with the settings manager, I can't resize it to be smaller than this. So it takes up a lot of unnecessary space in my opinion. Another thing that I've never bothered is uh, changing the fonts. That's something that I really want to kind of take into consideration someday. But, um, but also for the title buttons, as you can see, if you want to adjust the title bar, they have enlarged it here. And I really appreciate this because it's so much easier to just drag and move things uh, because in the past they would, um, you know, they, they made it much harder much more difficult to move these around. And I think that this is much more intuitive. Uh, when it comes to the colors, this is really neat actually, because now the way that they are presented, um, you can see that it fits the style of the other tabs, like uh, the themes and the cursors. As you can see, it shows the previews like this. Uh, now it has more consistency. Another thing is that the workspace theme, all these categories right here, and the look and feel are now separate categories. And another thing for the colors tab here is you can choose uh, to see only light schemes or only dark schemes. So this is really nice if you're trying to uh, navigate, you know, through that. And those are, of course, like the main features, the main things that they changed. Of course, there's more things to cover. And um, they also talked about widgets and whatnot, which actually, if I try to add a widget, and let's say I try to add the clock, as you can see, if I add the clock right here, it uh, fits the theme that I've selected. So the theme that I'm currently using is Nilium. And this does look nice. In my opinion, uh, It's it looks much better when it fits the theme. Um, otherwise, I hate having a clock in my dock, but this actually looks kind of nice. Oh, and also this, you, you can kind of get a feel for uh, an actual notification. It has the nice little icon here. Um, and it just, in general, it looks more compact. Uh, and I actually prefer it in comparison to the previous way the notifications were. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically it. That's uh, really why I was just stoked for this. I just really wanted to experience um, the new features. And also when it comes to, let's see, when it comes to the RAM, the memory. So right now it's using 850 megabytes of RAM, but that's of course because I'm recording and uh, whatnot. But uh, on startup, it's around like 400 ish. So that's really good for KDE. Uh, and in general, I mean, the performance is just very smooth. So, um, yeah, there was no way I wasn't going to make a video about plasma 5.16. I was just really excited for it. And yeah, hopefully start making more videos again. Um, really gotta, I keep saying this, but I'm really inconsistent, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. So that was basically it. And thanks for watching.